have a really good beauty haul for you today. 99% of the stuff is from Ulta and I haven't been so excited over an Ulta haul in forever. And I also have a couple other things. I tried pretty much everything on my face today. They're all first impressions, but my makeup is looking good. This is all new and exciting stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. A huge thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm really excited because they just launched kind of like a new feature or option. I think you guys are gonna really like it because of how affordable it is. So this is a new mini beauty version of FabFitFun's seasonal lifestyle boxes. So this is catered to us beauty gals and it's pretty affordable. So it's only gonna be $25 for three full-sized items. This beauty box has a value of up to $100 for those three products. I mean, I'm really happy with my box. I'm gonna share with you guys. I think it's a great way to save money to be able to try a lot of different products. So when you receive your box, it's gonna come in such a cute floral box. And then of course it says FabFitFun at the top. And then when you open it, your three items are going to be inside. I'm gonna show you what I got this time around. So the first item that was in my box was a hair care item. This is the Unite 7 Seconds D detangler and leave-in conditioner which is perfect for my hair when I always use a detangler because my hair gets really messed up from being curly and wavy and it also is a leave-in conditioner and what I can't get over is the smell of this product. I've never tried this brand before, so this beauty box is a great opportunity to try these brands. And it really does work. I feel like it has left my hair really hydrated because of that leave-in conditioner aspect. And again, it just smells so clean. That's my favorite part about this. So I'm excited about that. The other item you guys are gonna get really pumped up for, this is a skincare item from Glow Recipe. This is a great brand that sold at Sephora. And this is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And believe it or not, I've never tried this. I've tried a handful of items from Glow Recipe. I know I already love their products, but I hadn't tried this yet. How cute is this? So this is a very nice lightweight moisturizer. I tried it for the first time today. It had a really light, delicious water watermelon smell to it. I used it before applying makeup. I think it's really good for before applying makeup because of how lightweight it feels. Mm, and I think it actually is a really good formula for oily skin because of how lightweight it feels. I don't know. <laughs> I really like this. I'm excited about this. I mean, $25 for this whole box. I mean, this one product alone probably costs that. And then the last item, I got my first item from Glossier. I can't believe I've never tried a Glossier product. So what are you? This is the Lash Slick Film Form Mascara. I do have it today. It did a nice job of separating my eyelashes. It's not too thick and clumpy. Really great lengthening and separating mascara. And for me, this is my introduction to Glossier, which I can't believe I've never tried. And I just love the packaging. There's a Glossier in Miami that I've been to, but I didn't buy anything. I think I need to go and buy some stuff. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. But anyways, can we just talk about how I feel like I've tried everything under the sun? And then in my mini beauty box, I had never tried any of these three products. I think that that speaks volumes right there. So if you do sign up, you'll also have access to a member exclusive online shop where you can get hundreds of products from top brands at up to 70% off. There is only a limited supply of these beauty boxes. So make sure you get yours before they're gone if you are interested. I don't know, I was just really excited to work with FabFitFun on this because this is a beauty box that I can get behind. Full size products, FabFitFun I feel like always carries really great brands and I'm just impressed with the first one that I got so far given that I'd never even tried any of these products and they all are really exciting brands to me and honestly for $25 that is such a good price. Anyways, for all my beauty lovers, that is a great option. I will have the link down below to sign up and shop for the new mini beauty box. And again, a huge thank you to FabFitFun for working with me on today's video. Let's go ahead and get into all of the rest of the makeup. Bye -bye. So before I get into Ulta, which is the majority of this video, my Gucci blush happened to come in today. I picked this up from the Gucci website. It did sell out, but I of course had to get my grubby little hands on this because Gucci Beauty has become one of my all-time favorite luxury beauty brands. I love the whole aesthetic of the brand. So beautiful, for the most part, very high quality products. It came in a beautiful box, the true luxury experience. So can you believe this blush came in a cute little dust bag? 
I'm dying. <laughs> and then here's the blush. As expected, it is so gorgeous. I had to take some product shots with all of my Gucci stuff because it's just so pretty. Kind of hard to open, but I did pick up the shade Bright Coral, which was the only shade that was available. I only used it today for the first time, but the formula is buttery smooth. This is the color. It kind of has like an orgasmish kind of look without the obnoxious gold shift. Very, very pretty. I do have it on my cheeks today. Very happy with the application. I was considering doing a dedicated review on this blush alone. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I definitely am happy with this formula in that I want to pick up more colors. Let me know if you'd be interested in a dedicated review. I'll look for some dupes and stuff and comparisons and all of that if you are interested because I don't know how interesting I can make a one blush review. But <laughs> let me know if you're interested. But so far, I'm liking it. And then let's get into the Ulta haul. I went a little ham on the Ulta website. I spent a long time on the new arrival section. It's been a while since I've placed an Ulta order. Man, did I have fun. So I picked up the new REM Beauty Concealer, which is Ariana Grande's makeup brand. I've seen this swirling around the social world. It's called the concealer. I, I can't find the name of it anywhere. I told you guys in a shopper drop that I really did want this, but I didn't know if I really wanted to place an order for it. But since I picked up a bunch of stuff at Ulta, I added this. I couldn't help it. I got the shade Light 10N, which is the perfect kind of corrector shade for me, like spot concealing. It works great under my eyes as well. I'm definitely going to have to use this more before I can decide how I feel about it. But so far, I really like it. I think it worked out really great as a spot concealer because my base is very very light coverage so I use this to get you know the places that needed a little bit more coverage and it blended out really really nice it seems to be holding up well and it does look nice on my under eyes so so far so good first impressions haven't even done really the wear test so I can't let you guys know quite yet there's nothing to dislike about it so far I think it is really nice it's been a while since I've used a pot concealer and it's delivering I also picked up a new item from Morphe I always get curious about these types of products. This is the Supreme Brow Sculpting and Shaping Wax. So it's like the ABH Brow Freeze. Elf has one as well. So I wanted to see what Morphe had to offer because I love the ABH do not like the e.l.f. So I wanted to see if maybe Morphe could be the more affordable version. It's not giving me the hold that I love. I think it's a little better than the e.l.f. because the e.l.f. causes my brows to drop rapidly. So far they're doing good. It's not the ultimate hold. ABH, my brows would still be sticking up to the sky, but it's keeping my brows separated, which I like. I have very stubborn eyebrows. What does not work for me works for a lot of people. Many people I know love the e.l.f. My brows love gravity, okay? They don't like to point straight up and it's doing an okay job holding. So I like this better than the e.l.f. but not as good as the ABH, but I'll continue to keep you updated. And if you guys don't know, I do have a series on my channel called Speed Makeup Reviews. All of these products will eventually end up in the Speed Makeup Reviews after I've used them more. So 100% guarantee, I don't lie about that. My Speed Reviews, I take serious. <laughs> uh, the next item that I got is from Makeup Revolution. By the way, I'm just starting off like with the one per item brands and then we're gonna get into the brands that I got multiple things from. Not that you care, but I am excited about this. So this is from Makeup Revolution where I hate 80% of their products. This is the Fast Base Contour Stick. Now, I made a major mistake and I got the shade light because normally I like my contour shade to be on the lighter side. Um, the contour shade in here is the exact color of my skin tone, so I should have opted for medium, had no clue, but I'm really excited about this because of how high quality the packaging feels. It's quite sturdy, but definitely not Makeup Revolution-y. And from what I can tell, the formula feels really beautiful. I love the highlight side. So one side is a highlight and then the other side is a contour. I mean, even for being light, like this is really, really light. Normally light contours work on me. Look, that's my skin tone. That's lighter than my skin. <laughs> <laughs> that's supposed to be the contour shade, but I really like the consistency of it. It's not super duper emollient, but it's creamy enough, but then also dry enough to where you feel like it's going to last and not slip and slide. I had a little bit more fun with the highlight today, using it to brighten up under this area. I also used it to help contour my nose. And so far, I'm really enjoying how this feels. And I actually do plan on picking up a darker shade because of how good this feels so well. 
I made a stupid mistake and ordered the wrong color. This is proving to be quite promising, so I'm excited about this. Next up, I ordered a few things from L'Oreal and they had a gift with purchase. I got a couple gift with purchases <laughs> this round. So L'Oreal sent over, along with my order, the I'm Worth It notebook. And it's just a notebook with blank paper, which honestly, Jose and I do not have printer paper in this house. And I needed some blank paper to make some labels for some giveaway packages that I was sending out. This would have come in handy. So normally I'd give something like this away because I don't use journals, but I think I'm going to keep this. Thanks, L'Oreal. <laughs> but here's what I actually purchased. So this first thing, I might be onto something, unless I missed the memo and people are talking about this. But this is the Age Perfect Tinted Balm. I got mine in the shade light, probably could have gone a little deeper, but it's fine, it still works. Ooh, this is beautiful. This literally feels like I'm blending in a moisturizer with a little bit of coverage. Now it's very, very light coverage, but I love the way this makes my dry skin feel. So if you have dry skin and you're looking for something really light and natural, I think you will like this. It looks super glowy on the skin and it literally just melted into the skin like a butter. I don't apply anything with my fingers, but this with the fingers, magical. Love the way it feels, super hydrating. For me, for the type of coverage that I like, this is pretty light coverage for me. But if you just spot conceal, like I said I did with the REM Beauty, I have all the coverage that I need. You wouldn't even really be able to tell. I feel like I have little to no coverage on right now. It looks so pretty, so glowy. It worked well with other products. I am really, really into this. This is what Bobbi Brown should have been. It has that kind of consistency that Bobbi Brown's is, but not gooky and oily. Like this is a great dupe for the Bobbi Brown in terms of how it looks on the skin, but so much better. Not sticky, so much better. This over Bobbi Brown times a thousand. I need to make a TikTok about that because wow, I, I got something. I discovered something. <laughs> Okay, and then the other product that I got from L'Oreal, this is new-ish, it's been around, but the Infallible Bronzer, I got mine in the shade Light Medium, it's a very nice shade. I really like this, this has a very buttery feel to it. It's been a while since I purchased a drugstore bronzer, so I wanted to try it, and so far so good. Now, I did test it over a liquid bronzer, so I want to see how this does on its own before I can give you my final thoughts. But first impressions, I am impressed with the feel and the butteriness of it. So far, I think the color is good, but again, I need to try it on its own. Didn't have any issues with it today, so... It's a little expensive though for being a drugstore bronzer, but I liked it. I picked up three things from Milani. Charlotte Tilbury, Milani's coming for you and it kind of did a good job. So do these look like something familiar? Like what what, what are they trying to do? <laughs> okay, so there are three different formulas that I tested out. So the first thing is the under eye brightener. I got mine in the shade Two Melon. Open this with caution because when you squeeze, a lot of this comes out, but this is an under eye brightener, which I don't normally use, but I wanted to try it and I really, really like this. It doesn't have too much coverage and keep in mind it goes underneath concealer, but I love the consistency of it. it felt extremely hydrating on the under eyes and almost gave a cooling sensation that helped awaken the eyes. Oh, it was so nice. The correction of it's very subtle, so if you have very, very deep, dark under eyes or miscolored under eyes, I don't think this is for you, but if you have lightly discolored under eyes, something like this is perfect. And I love the consistency of it underneath concealer because of how hydrating it feels so far. We'll keep you updated, like I said. But I think I really like this. Here's where they're coming for Shark Shark. The liquid contour. It even has the squeezy sponge thingy on the top. Smaller, though, which I actually really prefer because it allows you to kind of really sculpt the nose and smaller areas. I even used it to give myself a contour mustache. Helps make the lips look a little bigger. So is this as good or blends as beautiful as the Charlotte Tilbury? No. But is it really, really good? I think so. I have the shade 2 Ginger. It definitely is more warm leaning, so it's not more contoury. I would say it's more bronzery, but it blended out really nice. I mean, it didn't blend out like butter. It didn't blend itself out like I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury does. Like, I had to blend it out, but it didn't require any elbow grease, you know what I mean? It was just a really nice application. It is a bit deeper than I typically prefer for this format of liquid contour, but it worked out fine. It looks beautiful on the nose. I love the sponge applicator on this, the side. 
eyes is so nice. Another gem. And then the other thing, the last thing, also a gem, is this liquid highlighter. I got mine in the shade number one lunar. It's more on the subtle side, so prepare yourself for that. But it is a highlighter, and I hate liquid highlighters, so this is speaking volumes. The liquid highlight game though in brands is really improving because I'm liking them a lot more now than normal. This is what's given me the glow. No powder did this. Just this highlight. It actually, for being natural, like you can still see it. I applied it before powder and it looked nice. It was subtle. I honestly felt like it could have used a little bit more gleam. Then I powdered. You know, I did my powder blush, my powder bronzer, my under eye setting. So I had powder on my face. I put this on top just to see. You know, we're not gonna knock it if it doesn't do good over powder, but if it does do good over powder, brownie points, right? Total brownie points it gets. It looks so nice and smooth, and I definitely have not met a drugstore liquid highlighter that I've liked. So these three new products that Milani has, they're bomb. They're really, really good. Okay, and then I have two more products. We'll start off with, I bought it. I bought it. Soccer loser clown. That's me. So I got the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice Palette, which is the 10th rendition of the palettes that they launched every year. And I'm honestly shocked that they even launched this because they recently launched... Do I have it here? They recently launched this palette, which is the Better Than Chocolate. I don't say no to these. I, I don't know how. This wasn't even that good. The quality is not that great. This feels better than the chocolate one. But yeah, they launch these every year. Didn't they have another one that just launched? Am I tripping? Anyways, they all look the same too, but... I love having these around. I don't know why. So the packaging of this is a little different. It's more of like a cardboard situation here, not the tin. But the swatch has felt pretty nice. Better than the chocolate palette that just launched. I mean, I could show you like this looks the same <laughs> as a lot of other Too Faced palettes that they've come out with. But let me know if you would like a review on this. I've only gotten as far as swatching this. I got a soft spot for these palettes. Very subtle scent. They've definitely chilled out on the scents lately. Do you remember when you used to open a Too Faced palette and then the fragrance would smack you in the face and give you a black eye. I liked that. Like, I, I really liked that. I, I I wish it wasn't so subtle, but it's better that way, I guess. But anyways, I couldn't help it. I saw it and I was like, hey, you're coming home with me. I do cards. So let me know if you want to see that. And the last item that I picked up was from Tarte. It's what I'm wearing. I've already posted the review, so you already know what's up with it. So this is the reason that I placed this order <laughs> to begin with. This palette is the reason for everything in this video. This is the Man Eater After Dark palette. I believe it's their new holiday palette. It's different than what I've seen Tarte come out with. I'm not saying it's a unique palette. It is not a unique palette, but it just looked different for Tarte, which excited me. And these uh, embossments just look juicy, slick, deliciousness. So I do have it on my eyes today. And it's a really, really nice palette. I would go as far as to say as this is probably my favorite palette that Tarte's ever come out with. That doesn't hold a lot of weight though because I haven't tried a ton of Tarte eyeshadows, but I think they did a really nice job with it. I think it's very beginner friendly. The mattes are really easy to work out. They're a bit on the sheer side, but again, very beginner friendly. The shimmers can be a bit messy, but they are gilded gold deliciousness as you can see on my eyes. It's just a great everyday palette for the fall. I think it makes sense that they came out with this there's going to be a huge variety of people that are going to be into this color story. It really is a very functional palette, allows you to play around a little bit, but it's still neutral and again, spectacular for fall. So I think that's a good one. And then the last thing I have to talk about, there was a gift with purchase with it. It's actually kind of good. This is the free, it's a free gift with any $30 Tarte purchase. So if you want to get this from Ulta, not bad. And it comes with a base tape hydrating primer, Man Eater Mascara, and the Shape Tape Glow Wand, can't speak. I've never tried any of this. I actually like normally give these away, but I want to try these two. I don't need the mascara, but I want, I'm interested in these. Anyways, wow, that was a fun haul. Lots of new discoveries. Definitely, I'm gonna continue testing these. Let me know if there's anything you wanna review on. Like I said, right now, I'm thinking about the Gucci blush and the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice, but I do already have the Tarte one on I'm so excited. And again, a huge thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. More shoppy stuff for you guys and a really good deal. So I'll have the link to the mini beauty box at FabFitFun down below. Remember, limited quantity. So if you are interested, get on that. <laughs> 
And yeah, thank you guys so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.